Hello, everybody, and good morning. Welcome to Worship for Lutheran Schools Week. I know it's a lot different this week with the pandemic. We're having to change a lot of things, but we really worked hard to try to bring to you a worship service in which we celebrate our school ministry. So you will see that kids, uh, the students in the, in the school, had a part in this, and the teachers certainly had a part in this. And Pastor's going to share a message with us today where we celebrate our school ministry and the wonderful things that are happening in schools like Holy Ghost all over the nation and even the world. We thank you for your partnership, and we welcome you to worship with us today as we celebrate National Lutheran Schools Week. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The, Holy Spirit. the Lord Jesus Christ said, Truly I say to you, Unless you turn and become like children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. I hold my life in my hand continually, but I do not forget your law. I am severely afflicted. Give me life, O Lord, according to your word. I incline my heart to perform your statutes forever to the end. The Old Testament lesson is Deuteronomy chapter 6, verses 1 through 9. Now this is the commandment, the statutes and the rules that the Lord your God commanded me to teach you, that you may do them in the land to which you are going over, to possess it, that you may fear the Lord your God, you and your son and your son's sons, by keeping all his statutes and his commandments, which I command you all the days of your life, and that your days may be long. Hear therefore, O Israel, and be careful to do them, that it may go well with you, and that you may multiply greatly, as the Lord, the God of your fathers, has promised you, in a land flowing with milk and honey. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. 
And these words that I command you today shall be on your heart. You shall teach them diligently to your children and shall talk of them when you sit in your house and when you walk by the way and when you lie down and when you rise. You shall bind them as a sign on your hand and they shall be as frontlets between your eyes. You shall write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. This is the word of the Lord. The epistle lesson is Ephesians 3 verses 14 through 21. For this reason, I bow my knees before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named, that according to the riches of his glory, he may grant you to be strengthened with power through his spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you, being rooted and grounded in love, may have strength to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and height and depth and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Behold, the hour is coming, indeed it has come, when you will be scattered each to his own home, and will leave me alone. Yet I am not alone, for the Father is with me. I have said these things to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation. But take heart, I have overcome the world. I'm Pastor White. Thanks for inviting us into your home as we celebrate Lutheran Schools Week. It's not just Holy Ghost that we're celebrating. We're celebrating all the Lutheran schools in our nation, indeed in our country. We teach and we preach as accurately as we know how the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, the gospel of God the Son and the Son of Man who has come to rescue us from ourselves, rescue us from the devil, rescue us from death. We heard in the gospel lesson today the Lord Jesus Christ tell his original disciples to take heart, I have overcome the world. Now, that's our, that's our year's theme verse. Uh, it was selected last year to prepare us for this year. And very appropriate, too. Uh, because, well, last year ended very difficultly. Not, not in that the students didn't do well or that the teachers didn't perform well. But because of the COVID-19 uh, pandemic, we often were not able to be together, to work together, and so there was some disheartenedness, some difficulty, and as the pandemic wore on through the summer, there were concerns that we wouldn't even be together to have school in person, but thanks be to God, that's not been the case this year. And so when this verse was chosen, take heart, I have overcome the world, it was done so because we need the Lord's word to be the guiding principle of our life. We need to hear the risen Lord Jesus Christ say, take heart, I have overcome the world. Now let's just think about this for a moment. Jesus Christ first uttered these words on the night literally within hours of his betrayal by his closest friends and allies into a brutal and terrible death. And yet the Lord Jesus Christ said, I have already overcome the world. This is the kind of faith that he gives to us too. Oh, the Lord Jesus Christ didn't suffer from a sinful nature like we do, and he doesn't have any difficulty trusting his Father's word the way we do. No, he is made of faith from the tip of his incarnate toes to the top of his incarnate head. He is God the Son. He is the Son of Man. And there is no one righteous like him. And so trusting his Father's promise, he could say, I have overcome the world even though he faced an ordeal that, thanks be to God, we will never face. 
he faced God's own vengeance, his own wrath towards all the works of the devil, towards all our sins, and in every way that we have participated in defaming and dishonoring God, the Lord Jesus Christ took all that upon himself and conquered it. And now he gives it to us. He gives it to us by word and sacrament ministry in his church. How thankful can we be? We too, in Christ Jesus, have overcome the world. So the Lord Jesus Christ commands us. He doesn't suggest. He commands us, take heart. I have overcome the world. He doesn't say, take heart. You shall overcome the world. Take heart. You shall do awesome things. Take heart. You're going to be great. No, Jesus isn't a self-help salesman. Jesus is the Savior. That makes him vastly different than anyone or anything else we encounter in this life. He is the one who tells us, who commands us to take heart because taking heart, taking courage, building ourselves up in the Lord Jesus Christ is the only appropriate response to one who loves us so. And so we do. We take heart. We take courage that the Lord Jesus Christ indeed has overcome the world and shall overcome the world. And we are in him. We are united to him by faith. He is our conquering hero. I hope you, along with your children who attend our school, and along with all our staff and teachers at the school, I hope you will take heart in the Lord Jesus Christ. He has overcome the world. He has overcome everything that would keep us from the Father. We now are reconciled to God. We now are forgiven people. Yes, indeed. Jesus Christ has overcome the world. He's overcome everything that keeps us from the Father. So take courage, take heart, rejoice in the Lord. God bless you, God keep you, and may the peace that surpasses all understanding guard your heart and mind in Christ Jesus our Lord. Three. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. And in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who is conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting. Amen! Merciful God, you are wisdom from above, the source of all knowledge. Blessing and faithfulness to our Lutheran schools, especially the Holy Ghost school, and all our other ministries, high school schools, universities, and seminaries, established for the Lord's task of handing down the truth of the unknown. We give you thanks and your eternal praise for especially for your majestic plan of salvation for the whole world in the cross of your Son, Jesus Christ, the Lord. Enlighten the minds of every person to believe the good news of the gospel that many may be given the gift of eternal life.
Thanks, Thanks and, and praise to you, O Lord, for our parents, teachers, pastors, professors, and theologians who faithfully deliver the truth of your word in home, church, school, and every form of instruction. Help us to learn and know your word that we too may pass it on to our children and neighbors that the glory of your salvation may continue to shine brightly in our world. Heavenly Father, hear our prayers for all who are sick, injured, or facing or recovering from surgery or medical procedures. Grant each one the knowledge of your gracious will for healing, health, and wholeness that they may put their trust and hope in your comforting presence. Remembering all who have gone before us with, with the sign of faith and knowledge of the truth, especially our parents, teachers, and those who have taught us the faith, we commend ourselves to your continual care that we may remain faithful and receive with them the crown of life. Almighty God, graciously guide the nations of the world, and especially the leaders of our own nation. May the war have free course to be preached and warned and behaved, and may we be enabled to live in peace and safety. Lord Jesus Christ, you have entrusted your church to teach the gospel to all nations. Enlighten us with the Holy Spirit that we may faithfully teach the gospel, the power of God, for salvation to all who believe. Grant that we may serve the generation you are raising up through the children by suffering all things that they may know the truth that sets them free. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil.
upon you. The Lord look upon you with favor, favor and give you peace.